Close your eyes and watch your breath. Keep your mind with the breath so that it stays with the body right here in the present. Breath comes in, you know it's coming in, goes out, you know it's going out. Try not to wander off and leave the breath behind. Think of yourself as helping the breath along, because the breath, when it's left to its own devices, simply does one thing, it keeps you alive. But when you work with the breath energy and let it spread through the different parts of the body, make sure the breath energy is comfortable, you get more benefit out of it than that. Any diseases that are caused by stress begin to just dissolve away. And the blood flows better in the body and the organs work better, and the mind has a better place to stay. So by helping the body, you also help yourself. When the two of them work together, then you can be strong. There's strength that comes from the body, but more importantly, there's strength that comes from the mind. When things can happen to the body. You can get sick, you can grow old, you can die, and this happens to everybody. There was once a king who was, said he was, when he was young he felt he had the strength of two people, but now he can, thinks of putting his foot in one place and it goes someplace else. That's what happens as you get older. Things get out of control. And if your mind isn't strong at that point, then you're really going to suffer. So we look after the breath so that it gives the mind a good place to stay, and then as it stays here, then it can really look into itself and see an answer to the big question, why is it when there's enough suffering in the world, the mind likes to create more suffering for itself? This is something it does all the time. It takes some, 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 something perfectly innocent and turns it into big suffering. And sometimes there's really things that are bad outside, and it makes the suffering even worse. This way the mind tends to be its own enemy. So how can you make the mind its own friend? We have to train it, because it's doing all this out of ignorance. So you have to train it so it can know. How does it know? It knows by staying in the present and watching things really carefully. When the body and the mind work together like this, and then both are strengthened. Then no matter what happens to the body, at least the mind will still be strong, because that's ultimately what matters. Eventually you're going to have to let the body go. But if you have strength of mind, strength that your actions make a difference and that your, the persistence, the effort you put into training the mind really is important, and you're mindful to keep on remembering this, okay, then the mind does get a lot stronger and it can deal with difficult issues. So this is a strength that comes from working together. In Pali it's called samaki. It's the, the, the strength that comes from harmony, working together, working in harmony. We see this not only within the body and the mind, but also outside. A society that's split into different factions is going to be a weak society. It's only when the society can find some way of getting together, everybody works together for a common purpose, Okay, that's when the society is really strong. We see this problem all around us. Lack of harmony here, lack of harmony over in Thailand, lack of harmony just everywhere. So what are you going to do? Well, you have to start within yourself. Make sure that you've got the strength that comes from training the mind, looking after the breath, looking after the body through the breath. This way at least you can be a source of strength to yourself and the people around you, and that's the beginning of harmony on a larger scale as well. So try to make sure that the mind isn't running away from the body all the time, that it's staying right here looking after it. When you look after the breath, then the breath is going to turn around and look after you. And this way everybody helps everybody else along. That's where real strength lies.